Hi there! My name is Gillian Perkins and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the system that I use to plan my days the night before. And if you're someone who already plans their days the night before, then I think that you'll still find a lot of the tips and strategies that I share in this video to be really helpful. I find that whenever I don't plan my day the night before, I wake up in the morning and I think, oh, I need to work, um, I should check my email. And so I start checking my email and I get distracted by like, oh, I need to answer this person and this person wants me to do this thing. And my focus just gets really spread out and I get caught up in a reactive mode where I'm just responding to other people all day. And then maybe throughout the day I think like, oh, I do need to work on this project a little bit. So I start working on it, but I'm just in this distracted mode. And so it's really hard for me to make any significant progress on that. But instead, if I plan my day the night before, then I'm able to be a lot more intentional about what my priorities are and how how I can focus on those priorities the next day so that I can make some big progress on my goals before I get into the reactive part of my day where I do have to respond to some emails and deal with client work and things like that. Okay, so this is exactly how I do it. Now it kind of starts with the big picture. You have to have a few things set up to be able to plan your days very effectively. First off, you have to know what your priorities in life actually are and you have to have your goals for the quarter or the month or whatever unit of time that you have goals set up for. You have to have them planned ahead of time. The main benefit of planning your day the night before is that you're able to be intentional about what you're spending your time on, but if you don't know what you want to be spending your time on, then being intentional about it doesn't help that much. If you need some help figuring out how to organize your life around your priorities, then check out this video that's linked up there. That video isn't so much about goal setting as it is about figuring out what your priorities are and then making goals that correlate with those priorities and then figuring out how to actually organize your schedule and your time around those goals and priorities that you've decided. Okay, so once you know what your priorities are and you've made goals that correlate with those priorities, then there's one more thing that you have to do before you're able to plan your day the night before very effectively. So what you need to do is you need to break those goals down into weekly projects or to-do items. So for example, one of my big goals right now is to get a product launched on Amazon. So what I've done is I've made a list of all of the different weeks from the time when I first set that goal up until the time when I want to have accomplished the goal. And then I made a big list of all of the steps that I needed to take in order to successfully get the product launched and I organized all of those tasks so that every week I only had to focus on a few of them and by the deadline I will have successfully launched my product on Amazon. And then I've done that for all of my different goals. And so when I start my week I have a whole list of tasks already that correspond with each of my different goals. Now after you've taken care of those things ahead of time, you're able to much more effectively plan tomorrow. And so every night, the first thing that I do when I'm planning tomorrow is I take a look at that list of tasks that correlates with my big goals. Even if there's other things that are on the top of my mind, you know, maybe I have some appointments tomorrow, or maybe I really need to go get the oil in my car changed, maybe I have to work on my client's ads, or I need to answer some emails, all of those things are important, but they're only important because they're urgent. And so what's really the most important to me in my life is working on those big picture goals, because those are the things that I truly care about. So I try to be really intentional about this and I take a look at that list of tasks that I have pre-planned and I figure out how I can either make progress on a couple of them or how I can completely accomplish a couple of them. And those tasks are what go at the top of my plan for tomorrow. Personally, I like to wake up early and get some work done before my kids wake up, before I have breakfast, before the day really gets going. And those first most important tasks are what I try to use that time for because I find that I'm able to be the most focused and the least reactive in those early morning hours. Okay, now the second thing that goes on my plan for tomorrow is a list of any and all appointments that I might have. Now of course some days I don't have any appointment scheduled, but other days I have some video conferences or some local meetings scheduled. I write these down in my planner along with the time that I'm supposed to be there because clearly if I've told someone that I'm going to meet them then I need to follow through and make sure that I'm not late or I don't forget. The next thing that I plan for tomorrow is personal things that need to get done. 
every single day of the week I have a specific chore that I do. For example, on Mondays I fold the laundry, on Tuesdays I clean the kitchen, and so on. And so I make sure that I write that task down so that it doesn't get lost in the hustle and bustle of the day. I find that doing those daily chores is very important because it's what keeps my space clean and clear and that really helps me to stay in a good state of mind, stay focused, and stay happy. The next block of things that I need to plan for tomorrow is my regular weekly routine things for that specific day that are related to work. So every day of the week I have some specific tasks that I've planned ahead of time that I need to take care of to keep my business running smoothly. That means on a certain day I have to film, on a certain day I have to edit, I have to answer emails a certain number of times per week, I have to make sure that I keep those Facebook messages managed. And of course I have to do my client work and I also have to manage some other random administrative things. So I take a look at my weekly work routine and I remind myself exactly what I'm supposed to be doing on that day of the week that's coming up tomorrow. And then I copy that short list of things over onto my plan for tomorrow just so that I can keep everything on one page and I don't have to be flipping to different pages of my planner. Okay, and then the final thing that goes on my plan for tomorrow is a list of any random things that need to get done, and I try to rank these in order of priority because I don't know exactly how much flex time I'll have in my day. The important tasks might end up taking up my entire day, or I might get them all done in those first few hours and have lots more time to accomplish lots more things. So these miscellaneous things might be urgent things that aren't important but really need to get done tomorrow, or they might be random little things that aren't that important or that urgent but I would just like to do. I find that I'm the happiest when I am busy and productive. It makes me feel like I am making a contribution and I'm making progress on my goals and those are the things that make me feel good. Now, if you're not a task-oriented person though, and you feel like this would make you feel overwhelmed, then what I'd suggest is that you only do that very first portion that I was talking about, where you look at your goals and maybe the tasks that you planned for this week that correspond to your goals, and you just plan some very intentional to-do items for tomorrow that you can do to work on those goals. And the reason that I think that this is the most important is because a lot of us set big goals and we say, like, this year I want to write a book or we want to run a marathon or start a business or whatever it is, but we're not actually putting in the time or the effort to make those things happen. And that's because every day we are just being reactive, we're just responding to our emails and responding to our giant to-do pile, and so we never get to those things that are really important to us because there's always something that's more urgent. And so if you can just do the simple step of every evening planning what you will do tomorrow to make some progress on your goals, then you will be able to accomplish your goals so much more quickly and actually be successful with them. So that pretty much sums up how I plan my days the night before. I don't do this every single evening. I really try to, but of course there are some evenings where I am just too tired or I straight up forget, but I try to do it every evening because I find that it makes a huge difference when I do. So I'm really curious to know how many of you do plan your days the night before, and if you don't plan your day the night before, when do you plan your day? Or do you plan your day at all? Do you plan it in the morning before you start working? Do you plan it at the beginning of the week? Or do you just go with the flow and take things as they come? Leave me a comment below and let me know because like I said, I'm really curious. If you liked this video, then make sure you hit that like button down below to let me know and to help more people find this video. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel because I make two videos every single week about intentional living, entrepreneurship, and success and I'd love to have you join me for the next one. Also, if you want to get more intentional about how you're planning your life and organizing your schedule, then I've got a free resource that will really help you out. It's called my Priority Planning Pack, and there's a link down below where you can download it for free. The Priority Planning Pack has different worksheets that guide you through each step of the process so that you can start with your big picture of priorities and then develop some goals and then develop a daily routine that actually relates to those goals so that you're able to accomplish them over the course of the year. You can grab it for free by clicking that link down below and I think you'll find it really helpful. Okay, well that's all I have for you today, but thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.